I'm Jake from BroMusicProducers.com. In this one, we're going to take a look on how to create this plucky house beat in a quick and easy way. So we use the uh, Silent One virtual instrument to generate most of the sounds. Okay, enjoy. Alright, we're not going to focus on drums too much here. I've got some simple loops and a kick playing at a tempo of 128 beats per minute. On track number 5, I've got Silent 1 loaded with a simple delayed pluck preset. Is a cool technique to write a nice sequence using the help of Ableton's built-in effects. Insert a D minor scale. Drop the Eternal Sunshine chord effect. I'm going to write a sequence of six descending notes. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Uh, let me sidechain this track with the kick. Alright, we're going to use another instance of Silent One loaded with another pluck preset to widen the sound. This track will play the same notes with the same effects. Basically, repeat the process for the previous track. So I need to remove the low frequencies of this sound. Uh, even though we're using a minor scale, the Eternal Sunshine chord effect gives this track a really kind of happy feeling. Okay, now for our bass line. So you notice that the notes for the pluck sound are descending. A common technique is to do the opposite for the bass. So 
follow me whilst I try to create a nice ascending bass line. Let's add more sounds for the song. On this track I've got a simple lead sound. We'll use an easy two note sequence. Alright, now for our stab sound. Let me duplicate the MIDI effects from the pluck track. Stab or hit on the third kick. you an idea here's what you can do from there. I've got some nice vocal loops recorded in different keys from this vocal glitch pack released by HY2ROGEN so uh, hydrogen i 
simple as that. Finish this track and post it up on our website, promusicproducers.com. Okay, cheers. <laughs>